you will always find that seeing rates is usually a little bit higher than planned population. So seeing rates is your target number of seeds that you plant in the field, and your plant population is the final number of plants that you achieve. And usually you will see that depending on the conditions, it could be between 90, 95%, or it could be even lower if you were in a planting scenario that was not good, or if for a problems of cold temperature when you went too early, or excess of water if you went also too early and you have a lot of rains. Or you could go to the other side if you start planting a little bit later, that you have heat stress in some situations or you have dry conditions. So depending on the situations, that number of plants that you attain is slightly lower usually. I mean, it could be like 5% below the target or it could be some situations, I mean, 20, 25% below the target. We want to keep these two factors, the seeing rate and the plant population, as close as possible mm -hmm. to make sure that whatever is the separation between these two is making you to pay more because you have basically plants and seeds that you put on the ground that they were not converting to plants. Yeah. And it's money that just slip away. And we have a very handy information on the one of the, the research that we have done in the past. What we did is that we look at multiple environments, multiple studies across the state, and we try to develop some kind of a, I would say more kind of a guidelines what happens when you are in lower yielding environments. So if a farmer is in, a, in less than 100 bushel environments, what usually that tends to be very, very low, we were looking at increasing seeing rates was not a factor helping the farmers. So when we were putting less than 20,000, uh, in some situations 18, or if you think about in dryland, Western Kansas in some places around 15,000 seeds per acre, okay, is excellent because adding more plants, you are creating more stress. So you're not helping the crop. If you move into moving from western to the central part, you will start seeing that you can start adding more plants. You have more rain. So you move from maybe 100 bushel environments to 150. And then we can start increasing seeding rates. And then in most of these central Kansas environments, we usually are between 20 or 24,000 seeds per acre. And then when you start moving into much better environments like east central Kansas, uh, you start getting into 180s, no, 200 bushels. In those scenarios, you start pushing 28,000, no, really close to getting to 30,000. And then if you really go to high, very high yielding environments, closer to 200 plus, uh, 250 plus uh, bushels per acre, then you are moving into the 30,000 seeds per acre. So you are really seeing that in many situations, you, the evolution of the seeing rate increases as you have more availability of water, as you have more precipitation. So you are adding more plants. The maximum will tell us to, to go ahead and put two or 3,000 more seeds, but we are increasing yields only in three or four bushels. And, and when you start making the math on the cost of the seeds and the number of bushels, then you start looking at those numbers and you say, okay, I'd rather stay closer to the optimum I mean, on the optimum and closer to the maximum, but I don't need to be exactly on the maximum because if not, I'm taking a higher risk. Think about what, what is your optimal rate on seeing rates and think about that. I mean, if you go beyond, way too beyond your optimal seeing rate, you will put that crop into a, a stress situation. Yeah. And then you make your crop more dependent on the rain. Okay? And if you go a little bit conservative, when I'm saying a little bit conservative, it could be Two or 3,000 less seeds from, a, from an optimal one environment, you might put that crop and give another opportunity if we are entering into a, a scenario that we are extremely dry weather.